tremendous honor to be standing here, um, especially considering that it's a, a memorial lecture in, in, in honor of my father. I remember the first lecture that the MSA hosted, uh, and it's been remarkable that it's gone on for so long and continues to thrive. I thank the MSA, the Malaysian Scientific Association, uh, Uncle Chandran, Dr. Mai Chandran, Dr. Mohinda, who have all known me since I was basically born. I'm not saying they're old, I'm just slightly younger. But uh, it's been tremendous to be part of this. Um, some people ask me, how can we all, how can we offer support? Because I'm not supporting the chair, the person of the foundation is sitting at the table, my wife. I just um, you know, take the glory off her. But it's been hard since my sister is on the organizing committee as well. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it just feels wonderful to be there. Let me just say a few words about my father, uh, because he's been such a tremendous, a tremendous figure in many people's lives, but specifically mine. I am where I am now because of him. I am who I am now because of him. Um, despite my many mistakes in life, I have always tried to try to live up to what he believed in. Here's a man who is a nation builder, who is a scientist, a global scientist, a global Malaysian, a towering figure. He was the first Asian head of the RRI, the first Asian head of the Malaysian Rubber and Research and Development Board that became the Malaysian Rubber Board. The founder and chairman of the Palmer Research Institute and all the ancillary units of that that became the Malaysian Palmer Board. The founder of Malaysian Carbon, the founder of the Malaysian Rubber Development Corporation, the founder of RISDA, the Rubber Industry Small Holders Development Authority, um, the founder of the Institute of Chemistry in Malaysia. Um, I, mean, I could go on and on and on. And at his peak, he was he had oversight over two industries that controlled over 70% of Malaysia's GDP. One man. And when he retired, he retired on his pension. I remember having a very small amount of money in his bank account and just carrying on and doing whatever he thought was important. And I remember asking him because, you know, I'm not my father. And I said, Dad, aren't you angry, Dad? Look at all these other people that retired and they're living in these big bungalows and big cars and they have all these big jobs and millions of dollars and you know you're living on your pension and you're, you're I mean aren't you upset after everything you've done and his he, he looked at me shocked and said I was made a tantri I have my pension I did my job what else am I supposed to expect to get and that was him because to him that was all there was he was a scientist he was a nation builder he did what he thought was important for his country, and when he retired, he retired. And he thought, as far as he was concerned, he got exactly what he signed up for, his pension, the respect, his integrity, and he went on. There are not many people left like him. And he looked at science and technology as the future for everything for Malaysia. He thought that is where we have to grow. Innovation, research, and research includes failure. Without failure, there is no innovation. We cannot be scared of failure. We cannot be afraid of taking chances. Governments, all governments in this country, whether it's the current one, whether it's the previous one, whatever, have to somehow ensure that innovation and research continues. Chances are taken because from there we progress. From there, Malaysia can be a leading light again in research and development. We were once, we definitely can be again. And I hope that happens. I remember, and I saw a quote up here. I remember um, someone telling me about what, it was quoted very often, uh, and it was a plantation union's uh, head arguing with my father. And he always argued with my dad. I remember those arguments even in the house. Um, you know, unions always took care of the workers, and my father had to try to take care of both the plantation industry uh, stakeholders as well as the uh, as estate workers. And one of those statements that was told to me was that, you know, when they were arguing, my father finally said, you take care of the person under the tree, I will take care of the tree. But remember, if there is no tree, there will be no person under the tree. And the head of the union said, this is after my father's death. In the end, Tan Sri B.C. Shekhar ended up taking care of both. 
We need more of him. I know it's a bit strange coming from a son, obviously, I have best interest, but we need more of him. We need more nation builders. We need more scientists. We need more researchers. We need our young to know that there is a future in being part of research, innovation, and development. And I hope organizations like the Malaysian Scientific Association will do just that. On our part, we want to play a role. So I'm happy to make uh, a couple of announcements today on behalf of the foundation. First, we would like, with the Malaysian Scientific Association, arrange and provide an award in my father's name, half a million ringgit a year, going to a scientist that will create and develop innovation, technology, that can make a difference in society. I will work on being the MSA, but that is what we will do. And because it is a yearly award, I would like to ask the MSA to now change the twice, every twice, uh, two, uh, lecture every twice, two times a year, to an annual lecture, so that the prize can be given annually at your event uh, to a deserving scientist or technologist that creates impact. A Malaysian. Again, thank you very much for allowing us the honor and privilege to sponsor this event. Um, I am so proud to be here um, because this is what my father loved. All of you, what my father loved. What you all do um, is what my father stood up for. And I hope I can play whatever small role to keep it, keep the flame flying and glowing for as long as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Vinod